Okay, all jokes aside, do you really rewash clothes that hit the ground? I, well, I put. I just add a Tide Pod. I just put a, a dry Tide Pod on this on like the sock, mm. and then I put I put I leave it inside, and I just hope that it washes itself by the time it hits the dryer. Okay, so what you're saying is, you the sock hits the ground. Yeah, instantly contaminated. And then you take out a fresh, sparkling, crisp Tide Pod. Keep it in my wallet. You keep in your wallet one of those new flat boys. No, I, I just have a big wallet. Okay. I, have, I have a bulky wallet. It's like a, it's like a hermit, you know, but I, it's got a, a compartment for a single Tide Pod. A hermit? Like yeah, a, a hair? Yeah, a helmet for your hair. Yeah, that's right. So if you, Why if you have you an updo. Why did you just say helmet? Because it's for your hair. It's yeah, a no, I, I get that, but... Oh, a hair net. A hair mitt. A yes, helmet. But how does that have anything to do with your wallet? Why not just because say it's helmet? Because the, the hair mitt has an extra large top for your hairdo <laughs> is the deal but uh, uh my wallet has an extra compartment for a tide pod right so you op- <laughs> you gingerly open the sock leave it on the ground you gingerly open the sock i toss the tide pod in and you toss it in so that what do you use to to open the sock so that you don't yourself get then get contaminated uh, a pair of tongs right that i keep in my other wallet <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the PJC <laughs> cast where we do would you rathers and other fun things. My name is Dane. I'm Jimmy. And uh we got we got the energy going. <laughs> we got If you couldn't tell by my laugh immediately. It, you know, sometimes when you're doing a podcast, <laughs> it's a lot like starting a lawnmower. It's a lot like starting a friendship. <laughs> well, okay. one of you has to approach the other yeah. and say, "You want to be friends?" Uh, and, then, and very much like with with a podcast, you have to you want to do podcast? Do podcast and I'll say, "Okay." And I then do. and then both of those things are like a lawnmower in that you have to like grab the cord and pull on it a couple of times and you're you're kind of hunched over a little bit. Yeah. And then like your arm hurts cuz your arm hurts And then from you're like, friendship. "Oh, I forgot to put gas in this friendship." So you go get sandwiches together, not at not at Subway, but at Togo's cuz you're you're better friends than that. You're better you get friends. Get a better than sandwich. That. And if you could go to Quiznos, you would, but there's no more Quiznos oh, anymore. Oh, why'd you have to bring down the mood? They toasted I, their subs. And they had a pepper bar. They had a whole bar of pepper? Peppers. Oh, peppers. I thought you meant just, like, <laughs> different... <laughs> that was that was what was in the ad, Dane. The, the little monkey mice, whatever. Yeah. They, had a pe- they have a pepper bar. That's what oh, they said. I, that I, was the joke. I only remember... Uh, we love their subs. Yeah, but That's that was a, that was the last line. That's they the... were something. They were toasty. They are what because they toast him. And then they play the guitar. And then they the last thing is they have a pepper bar. Oh, I I don't remember that. Part. <laughs> I remember them. And they did. And I don't really know why. I don't. That wasn't any, a, a plus for me. I don't like peppers in my sandwiches, so I ignored it. The the two my two fa- I know this is highly niche, but that's what our podcast needs right now is niche content. Yes, please. Favorite. Sandwich chain commercials. <laughs> okay. Number one with a bullet with a wizard is that one <laughs> with, the little, <laughs> with the little. People ooh. remember it to this day. Is the thing. Yes, it's very good. It's very strange, and it put me in a in a, a wonderful headspace as a like child. Twenty years old. Number two, because I do have a second. Okay. Is um, uh, I think it was Quiznos. It, it might have been Blimpy. Blimpy. Oh, I do like the Blimpy one though. Okay, so the one third one's going to be Blimpy, but the <laughs> but the second one is I think it was Quiznos, and it was like we toast our subs. It's the best idea since the invention of pants. And then they 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 have a, a shot of a whole bunch of people uh, standing behind bushes naked. <laughs> And one man standing there with pants on eating a sandwich, and the the man behind the bush says, um, 
I'm afraid of change. I will, I will stay with my bushes. <laughs> and that commercial, always the, living rent free, baby. <laughs> no, I don't think I've seen that one. I'll look it up and I'll show it to you. What's so. the Blimpies one? I don't know. We don't have Blimpies here. The Blimpies here. one is dumb. It's from <laughs> Southern Anytown, USA. And um, it was the owner of Blimpy, who was not an actor. Mr. Blimpy. Yeah. He, he was a good oh, is looking it, is it, is silver Blimpy's haired guy. Is Blimpy's just a local any, a Southern Anytown chain? It might have been. I feel like it's not. I don't not. know if it's around anymore. Well, because it's named after Popeye. Oh, no, that's Wimpy. That's Wimpy. I'm confused. And they sell hamburgers. Oh, um, oh fuck, dude. <laughs> no, this is, this is Blimpy's, and uh, it's the guy, and he's using a uh, one of those gliding slicers, you know, the, 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 the big deli meat slicer, silver the ee- boy. Ee- no. And it makes a donkey sound? It doesn't. No, it's silent, <laughs> and it's smooth, and it's beautiful. It's like if um, It's like if RoboCop was a meat slicer. Yeah, like, I'd want to fuck that meat slicer. Right, that's right. Anyway, so he's slicing turkey or something, and he's <laughs> saying, like, hey, I'm the owner of Blimpies, and our ad people say that you'll remember our name more if we re- keep repeating the name Blimpy. Uh-huh. So that's what we're doing. And as he's slicing, you realize that he's got the word Blimpy on his shirt, and every <laughs> time he slices it, you see it again. <laughs> it's covering it up and then and that's the whole commercial it's just a joke about subliminal repeating, messaging yeah repeating the name Blimpy that's my third favorite sandwich commercial from the 90s I made a sandwich commercial once no I called it Jimmy's Sandwich yeah <laughs> and I was I starred in it and I was making a sandwich and I said this sandwich costs a million dollars. Oh, my God. And this ad cost $100,000. Wow. So if you buy this sandwich, America, it was a national commercial, huh? the, I will uh, be $900,000 up before taxes. And then somebody bought the sandwich, and now I'm rich. Yeah, good story. And you know who bought that sandwich, Dane? Who was it? Elon Musk. No. He could afford it. Yeah. And his a million dollars. Well, his dad. An investment. His dad is is definitely a, like an emerald mine mogul who takes advantage of people in Africa. I anyway. What if you put an emerald in the sandwich before you ate it? I mean, you gotta. Like a like a diamond in your mind. Like a diamond in the rough. Um, so we're doing Would You Rathers now. And that's what that's, our podcast the, is it's about. It's what our podcast is about. And, uh, you know, today I just, I was like, let's go simple. Let's just, let's, let's, go, let's just. Let's go simping. <laughs> <laughs> I want to simp for some Would You Rathers right now. Oh, baby. Um, so I just Googled, then tweeted, Would You Rather. Okay. Straight up. A lot of websites that we already went to. Oh, <laughs> yeah, really? Up. I had to keep going down. What? I had to keep going <laughs> down. Um, some of these websites include, uh, well, the movie Would You Rather from 2012, Ooh. Sign Up Genius. Something, Sign Up Genius. Um, uh, Parade.com, I guess we'd already done what? from them. Okay, I trust you. Uh, yeah. Or maybe I just clicked on it as backup. Uh, conversation starters world we we done <laughs> we done from them i need to go to that that's my favorite super mario world um uh, of course uh the would you rather wikipedia entry which explains the game would you rather <laughs> and then uh, um uh rubber rather still around same ones that we it? used it's to the do same yeah ones. it's okay. the same ones it's the disappointed the, the first one on there um, is Spock and like a million dollars or whatever. Anyway, um, finally getting down to a little website called Pondly. Uh, Pondly.com has 45 would you rather questions you just cannot answer. Okay. And Jimmy, are you wondering if there's a preamble? Oh, An you intro? know that I'm not, because I know the answer. <laughs> there is. Yeah. My family cannot spend more than one hour in a car together without someone's life being threatened. What a good, happy family. <laughs> That's how it starts. What can I say? We're not patient people. We're horrible to each other. <laughs> we have 
a dysfunctional family <laughs> and straight up things are bad uh we need counseling help this is a cry for help um <laughs> but i'm gonna give you 45 would you rathers that are impossible one year we're we're going on a car trip with this guy uh, one year to cut the tension and help pass the time on the long drive to my aunt's house for christmas dinner what is this a recipe jesus my sister started asking us would you rather questions. I sat there, seat belted into the family sedan, thinking about whether I'd rather eat pizza every day for a year or give up pizza for a year. It's too close to home. That's, 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 that's a crazy oh, question. Oh, boy. And then debated my answer with my family. My dad said he'd give up pizza for a year. What kind of monster could do that? It's us. We're the wow. monsters. Look at us. I ate pizza. Ah, uh, you have cauliflower pizza. There's a pizza in the freezer. Uh, that car trip passed faster than any other in living memory. And now it's a family tradition. We love each other now. Where I fixed our, our family, family with would you rather? Thank, thank I did you, it. would you rather? Instead of arguing with each other, we argued with each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's also something I love to do with friends or coworkers that I hate, particularly those who I might not know as well. So therefore hate. Would you rather makes us articulate beliefs and preferences and values in a way that really lends itself to bonding. So without further ado, 45, would you rather questions broken up into a different sections? Oh, enjoy. My God. So Jimmy, the sections are travel environment, Food, eating. They, uh -huh. These are slashed, slashed ones. Um, the next one is morality values. Oh. Oh. And and technology. Oh, so and relationships. What do you what do you want? Oh, and body let's do body the first, style. The first three of each, because we know we're not gonna get through okay. all of them. And there was money fame too. There money the fame, yeah. the most interesting one. I'm sure. I'm sure. We love the money. Would you rather questions? Okay. Um, would you rather take one vacation that lasts four weeks or four va vocations that last one week? They uh, didn't spell check. <laughs> they didn't copy. But, I mean, vocation is a word. That is a word, but... So they got past they it. Auto they autocorrected. Uh, so one... Okay, they both say vocation. I'm reading it now. They both say vocation. I believe they mean vacation. Would you rather t take one vacation that lasts four weeks or four vacations that last one week? I'd rather do the one, one four one weeks. Yeah, personally. The same. Is that four different places, do you think? Why not? That sounds it doesn't great. have to be, but I'm just thinking spread out through the year. That's four vacations in a year versus mm -hmm. the one one long vacation. I mean, well, it's. You I, get kind of tired of it, don't you? Maybe. You're just like, oh, I've seen this ruin uh, already. Oh. I think it would depend. Like, if it was somewhere like another country, like I could see being there for like a month. Like, if I went to Japan, that'd be amazing. For a month. A month in Japan is a long time. Yeah. Um, I I've could seen see this everything. eel restaurant already. Oh. I could, <laughs> I could do. I, I feel like a month's time would be able... I could I could take things sort of leisurely. You know right. what I mean? Week, week, week one. Week one, you're like, oh, there's Mario. It's Mario and again. And then week two, you're like, oh, there's Luigi. Oh, and Mario. What Mario sounds like in Japanese? Yahoo! If it's still Robert Martinelli. <laughs> I think it is. I don't think there's a Japanese Probably language not. Mario. Probably not. Probably not. Would you rather never set foot in your home country again, but be able to travel the world, or stay in your country forever and never be able to leave? America's not good. I'll leave. America sucks. I'll leave. It's a I, bad country. It's a terrible country. I hate travel. <laughs> so I'm going to stay in our country. I hate America. That's fair. <laughs> it's America. <laughs> you like that one? I did. A Farica? Yeah. Okay. It um, rhymed. Yeah. Uh, no, no, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, I could just stay in... Uh, have you ever heard of the, 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 the state of California? You ever heard of that one, Jimmy? No. Well, in California, you can surf, snowboard, hike, water ski, all in the same day. Wow. Yeah. It's wild. I've never done any of those things. <laughs> You've never hiked? No. 
<laughs> I've never gone more than five feet elevation change. It's not allowed. It's against my religion. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, would you rather have the ability to speak every language of the world but never be able to read them or read all languages in the world but never be able to uh, speak them? I feel like re talking would be better. Yeah. Like, it, uh, that's uh, this is a little tough, but I feel like it's, it'd be more kind practical. Of a tough, this one's kind of a tough one, because like we've I done was, language ones before, but never with this specificity. Yeah, because I'm thinking, like, if I go, if because, like, I wouldn't be able to read stuff, but there's apps for that, you and know? You know what one of the rudest things in the world to do is? What? This is universal. Okay. Pointing uh, at words in a book. Whenever you come up to somebody okay. with like printed material and you start pointing at it, it's just the, it just, it feels so invasive. So you want to be able to speak it instead of having to be like, all right, here's my ransom note where I'm going to point to each word that you have to read so I can communicate with you. You oh know what I mean? God. You know what I'm, you know what I'm going for here? Yeah. You see what I'm going for here? But if I got a piece of paper on my phone. <laughs> I can point to my phone. Wait. It's a paper phone. Phone paper? It's an origami phone. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Wow. You've been in Japan a while. I made a phone. That's Each wild. Each button is its own little origami piece. You know what I imagined? I imagined getting one of those uh, uh, refrigerator magnet poetry kits and just going around and making language poems <laughs> to be like where's the bathroom but instead you're like <laughs> i must travel to the place in which to deposit so my duties <laughs> then the, the next the next logical That's step here in this, the next logical step in this joke is that i need to bring my fridge to japan with me <laughs> At least a at least a mini fridge. Yeah, yeah. You're just and, carrying and, and, and that the, around. The magnets. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hold on. I need to shit real bad, but I need to tell you how first with these magnets. Get swole. You get swole carrying that sucker around. Oh, yeah. Or I'm lazy by carrying it on a little leash. Or, <laughs> or you get one of those R2-D2 looking fridges and it just rolls around and beeps at you. Get on the plane. Two tickets, please. Two tickets. Me and my counterpart, R2-D2. can't D2. be apart from the... I can't put this in, in baggage. No. Vital cargo. Would you rather have the ability... Oh, we already did that one. Would you, uh, How many did I do? I don't know. Three. That was three for travel. Okay. Food and eating. Would you rather eat only fruit or vegetables for one year? You know what I learned? Tell me. The vegetables aren't, like, real. Vegetables don't exist! They're not, like, real. <laughs> They're not real! So I'll pick fruits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you see that TikTok with that lady? <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Where she's just like, broccoli's just a flower? <laughs> Uh, no, somebody told me about it. There was a TikTok about it. I believe it. I believe you. I'm sure there was. And they're like, they're like cucumbers. They're just a, uh, they're just a melon. <laughs> well, cucumbers are a berry, I guess. Or a berry. They're all berries. Apparently, a berry is a berry. And somebody was like, pickles are a berry. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, pickles are pickles. Cucumbers might be berries. I'll give that to you, I guess. I mean, they do grow on a vine. Yeah, they grow much like a, a raspberry do. What what do the raspberry do? They grow on the vine like cucumber. And tomatoes? Berry. berry. And strawberries? Berry. Berries. Uh, blueberries? Vegetable. <laughs> it's the only <laughs> vegetable there Apple? is. Apple? <laughs> berry. berry. <laughs> <laughs> Banana? Herb? Bananas are berries. They are berries of an herb plant. Well, well yeah. Well, because that, that makes well because the uh, banana tree is the world's largest herb. bush. <laughs> <laughs> this tree is the largest bush. <laughs> they're not really trees. I mean, they're not really trees. They don't they're have more wood. A, they're more a collection of leaves. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't cut them down for f fucking wood. Yeah. You can't. And that's what a tree has to be. You have to be able to cut it down. There has to be for any wood. wood in there has it. to be wood. <laughs> it's what makes it All good. Right. I'm going to eat 
fruits because I miss fruits so bad. Also, vegetables don't exist. So yeah, fruits. <laughs> Would you rather have to eat one jar of jam every day for the rest of your life or never be able to eat bread again? I mean, we're doing the bread what? thing. We're a bunch of keto boys. Yeah, that's a weird one. I love one. jam. I'm going to eat jam. I, guess I if can I... do the bread, but I'm going to eat that jam. I think if I didn't get sick, that'd be fine. Yeah. A also, jam, a jar, a jam a day, a jam jar a day. Yeah, one jam jar. Could it be? Could I cheat? Could it be a restaurant size one? Yeah, that's Hell what yeah, I was that's, about to say. Like that's they just don't the littlest. They don't say how big the jar is. Fuck you, question giver. Yeah, no, get your shit together. No name dysfunction family man <laughs> with your family. Um, with your uh, sedan. Okay, one more. <laughs> Yeah, sedan. Who uses that word? Uh, would you rather eat everything in your fridge right now, all by yourself, and then have free groceries for a year? Ooh, that, that you went on a little journey there. Oh no. Is the answer is the other part or not? Let's skip it. Let's or not that do one. that, but have to pay an extra ten percent on all your grocery bills. For a year. Well, that's dumb. I'll just eat everything. Yeah, let's just. I mean, eat how, it. it's gonna be an adventure. There's a lot of food in that fridge. Actually, I take it back. Some of that food's gotta be good. Gotta be bad. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know if I want to eat all that. Food. I think I got a tub of ricotta cheese from uh, 1997. <laughs> that's gonna be looking exactly the same because ricotta cheese is sort of gross. <laughs> I love ricotta cheese. I don't. I don't. I don't. Oh, it's I, fine. I, I like a tiny bit of it. A little bit. You want a dollop? Just a dollop will do me, baby. But like a whole a recallop, a recallop. <laughs> but, but the lasagna amount, the the amount lasagna asks of you, is way <laughs> too much. <laughs> it's way too much. It's the worst part of lasagna. Do you do you remember that um that uh, moment in the Garfield movie? Which one? Uh, the first Garfield movie, okay. where it gets really really dark for a minute, uh-huh. and like like the the rain's coming down and splashing on the window and Garfield has his fedora pulled down really <laughs> low and then Lasagna walks in mm-hmm. and is like Garfield I must ask something of you and Garfield's like yeah what do you want I'm Garfield and the Lasagna's like it's not a light thing that I do now I come to you <laughs> With a, a plea, a, I'm I'm on my I'm on my lasagna knees here, and Garfield's like, nah. I what see, do you, I can see that? It's what do you want? Sauce all over the ground. And lasagna's like, I need more ricotta. And then Garfield's like, what? And uh, you ask, you ask too much, says Garfield to the lasagna. But then John is like. <laughs> Hey, lasagna, I got you covered. And he hawks a spoon of it at him. And then Garfield's like, no. No. And it goes slow motion. He tries to, like, shield him like a bullet. But John's uh, tenacity is too incredible. So he he, he played uh, semi-pro ball. He did. He did, probably. That's probably true. And John did it all, baby. He was called the Arbuckler. Before he was a cartoonist. (laughs) And... um, And then and then and then lasagna catches it in its mouth and it's like Thanos and the last gem or right. whatever the fuck. Uh, I, haven't the seen, last I haven't seen gem. those movies. The and, last uh, jam. The last jam and then and then lasagna <laughs> flicks its fingers and then there's only it's all ricotta. And Half everyone, the world's population is ricotta. Ricotta all the way down. And then I'm uh, very upset about it personally. Our next would you rather category is morality slash values. Okay. Would you rather know how you're going to die or when you're going to die? You know, this is a very common one. I don't think we've ever answered it. That can't be right. That sounds incorrect. We've done literally hundreds of would you rathers at this point. Yeah. Hundreds and hundreds of would you rathers at this point. And I feel like you've answered because you, because I've answered because I don't want to know when I die because then I'm just going to be like, oh shit, dude. Right. And if I know I've how I'm going to die, one. chances are it's just going to be like, stroke or like natural cause you know whatever natural yeah. causes probably yeah so i'm gonna take my chances on that no we have answered this before yeah. i remember all of this yeah now. yeah 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 because yeah, i'm yeah, like yeah, 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 i want to yeah. know i want to know when and then i have no fear up I until then no can you show, show me? me that is true you can just live a life of just of live a pure life. anarchy just live a life 
<laughs> You're just walking on the on the rails. Walking on open glass, broken um, glass. Oh god, I love that song. Boop pop, boop pop, beep pop, boop. Do you know pop, who's pop, beep, okay? Pop. Everyone, uh, we got to stop the podcast. Stop okay. the podcast. Arr, pulling Every, to stop the podcast lever. Everyone, right now, look up Annie Lennox walking on broken glass, please. Pop, 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 pop. Because not only is it a jam, is it a bop, is it, does it slap, but let me tell you, the music video is buck fucking wild. What happens in it? Uh, so there's, there's famous people in it. It's set in like Victorian, uh, French times, like sure. right before the French revolution where everyone was like. Oh, we're super rich. Like minutes before. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's super foppy and super, you know, it's it's like a ball. Uh-huh. And Annie Lennox comes to the ball with Hugh Laurie. Oh. Hugh Laurie is her TV's date. TV's house. Yes, that's right. But this is when he was, he was just a funny man. Well, because he was on a show, another a show, a British bit show. Of, a bit of Fry and Laurie, yeah. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was a yeah, he was yeah, a very yeah. funny man. He is a very funny man. He still is. Anyway, so he's there being a doof, <laughs> and she's just ignoring him, right? Because Jimmy, she's actually in love with another man who's at the party, and who is that other man? Lori Hugh. It's not <laughs> <laughs> John Malkovich. Really? That's right. John Malkovich is in this fucking music video oh. as the stone facest uh, total as the better of the two. Uh, apparently, apparently he's the better one. The optimal choice with a and he's with another woman. Oh fuck! And she's just like, "How could you do this to me?" And he's just like, "I'm ignoring you." And you know the whole thing doesn't have a great message because he she's just like, "I want to be with you," even though I you're be with you. total <laughs> douchebag. Uh, why? You keep making me walk on broken glass like this i get it and um and they end up the uh, hashtag spoilers they end up together wow which is How not did she manage that uh she like throws a fucking tantrum and like embarrasses the entire party hey that's how you get what you want and then i guess i guess they end up together it's like the movie that i've, I've said this before about greece greece is a shitty movie that a lot of people love because the message of that movie is change who you are and right. boys will like you right and that's not really what happens. I think in in this music video, it's more like throw a tantrum to the yeah. jackass who's tr- it's, moved it's, on. It's a bad message all around. It is, and get what you want. But it's a badly. hilarious music video, and I highly recommend. I'm gonna it. watch it. All I don't right, know if I've good. ever seen it. It sounds familiar. It's. I mean, I know the song. My mom so used to listen good. to it. And it's so '90s slash '80s. I don't know. I don't know. It's either. got that thin veneer of uh, Vaseline on the lens and neon leggings. Probably. Um, w- would you rather have to tell on your best friend or boyfriend slash girlfriend for committing a crime, or serve time on their behalf? Would you rather rat somebody out? Or sacrifice your person. Uh, I didn't fucking do it. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> they walked. Hey, they were I'm walking. Not involved. They were walking on some broken glass. That sounds. That's a self crime. Do 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 do. Yeah, they did outlaw that in, in past in minutes after the uh, Victorian Revolution. <laughs> the Victorian Revolution. <laughs> the French Revolution. In Victoria. In Victoria. England. <laughs> um, fuck. This one's this one's kind of real. Okay. You know, I think... Mm, Is it too real? On your best friend. It depends oh, on what this, they this did. this question. Yeah. It depends on what they did. Like, if they stole some bubble gum, I'm going to tattle on them. <laughs> They're going to jail, though. Right? Isn't that what it said? It doesn't say that. It just oh. says tattle on them for committing a crime or serve like serve time on their behalf. Yeah, serve time. That's jail. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to tattle on my best friend for leaving the front door open. <laughs> Letting all the hot air out. Letting all the hot air out. <laughs> it's a cold winter's day. Every day. Every day. Um, so that is what I'm going to do. Are we, are we ready to move on? 
how many what other sections are left oh there's so many sections there's I mean, so many there's technology we could there's relationships depends on how much more show there's we body want to do. style we're almost a half hour into this episode yeah there's money fame there's random oh let's, let's do, do a random. couple random <laughs> <laughs> they're so random <laughs> um would you rather faint at your wedding or your graduation <laughs> graduation baby graduation i want to faint at my wedding and it gets real dramatic i knew a guy you know? um uh, so there was an award ceremony and he was like a uh, uh, whatever valedictorian or whatever uh-huh. the fuck at my high school yeah. and he but he was also the big class clown and I don't know how he'd manage this, but a few of them went up on the stage in our auditorium uh-huh. and uh, he grabbed his certificate or whatever. And then he like, and it was, the, the stage was raised, right? And so uh-huh. he, he took a, he, he like took it and he sort of goofy walked Oh, and then he like took a dive off oh, the stage. Just right off the stage. Like a as real, a joke. A real Kelsey Grammer, huh? I guess so. Did that happen? That's another one we gotta watch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kelsey Grammer falling off a stage and like just being hell yeah, real sad about and, it. And like it was for sure like on purpose, but he was acting like it wasn't, and like that was the whole thing, yeah. right? And it was I've I've never forgotten it to this day. <laughs> like like that uh, Blimpy commercial. Felix Ting, if you're oh, out there, name and names. Holy shit, he's not out. He's not listening. <laughs> But if anyone knows him, he did that. Jimmy, would you rather be trapped for an hour in a room full of mosquitoes or rats? Uh, rats are cute. Yeah, I think rats. Mosquitoes, rats probably won't bite me, and I could step Aww. on a rat if I had to. Yeah, and then and then we kind of like, uh, what's that movie where he like is friends with the rats? Rat. It's called Rats. <laughs> no. Uh, Stuart Little. <laughs> Mouse Hunt. Closer. You're getting closer. <laughs> Remember we watched Mouse Hunt? We did. It's such Dream a good Works movie. Mouse Hunt. It's an intense film, not for oh, children, wow. but is it? it that is. movie has an ending and then it keeps going. <laughs> it's got a couple. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'll think of it. Is it I'll called, think of it Is later. it called Ratty Rat Rats and the Ratty Boys? Rat no. Boys? No, but you're getting closer. I'm, <laughs> I'm I have sure no you're... idea. Crispin Glover is in it. Oh, it's, it's called remake. Stuart. No, <laughs> no, but it Stuart. isn't it. Isn't it like it's a name? It is. It's a name. one guy's name. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. Um, no, his I'm, name was I'm Stuart. Doing, I'm doing Back rats to too. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, no, it wasn't. Um, <laughs> 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 would you rather live without music or movies for the rest of your life? I guess music, even though that I, sucks. I, I love my movies. Yeah, I'm a music major. <laughs> I want movies. Yeah. Um. Yeah. For escapism. Sometimes I'm like, man, this is gonna be a bummer, and then I'm like, I don't actually have to. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, like, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have this to. This doesn't, this doesn't affect me in any <laughs> real way. Uh, would you rather experience life in slow motion or fast forward? Slow motion. Yeah. Maybe I'll take a lot of naps. <laughs> <laughs> Mid bite of a sandwich. Yeah, dude. Like a like a blimpy sandwich. Well, I'm going the regular speed either way. That's hmm. Are you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so saith I. You experience it, but you're moving. So it's like you're moving super fast. Yeah. Right. You're, that's that, you're, like you're the pulling flash. A, that's yeah, like the flash. You're a flash quicksilver kind of situation. Versus the opposite, which sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> Where you're chugging I through molasses. Get, nobody wants to get life over with, probably. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah, who knows? Who knows with the in the world? All right, our next uh, segment, Jimmy. We're doing something. We're going off the rails here. Dane's uh, tricked me. Our producer Spencer, <laughs> also known as my brother, um, has suggested a new segment for us that is tangentially related to Lonely Hearts. Now, I sent you something on your phone. You sent me a new one. Is don't, that the don't one? Don't do that new one. Do the. Okay, I didn't look at it. Or I skimmed one. the first one. Yeah, that's fair. So, uh, Spencer is, has sent me a, um, a r- ad for a open room. So, uh, somebody, somebody's in, advertising in, in, the, in the room, in the housing section, yeah, of Craigslist. housing section of Craigslist. We're back to Craigslist. Is peeper, the, is the deal. peeper. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a peeper bar. People are looking to rent out a, a house or a room or something. And they advertise on Craigslist and, or people are looking for, room, and right? people are looking for rooms too. So we're hunting down some of the wildest, wooliest 
wild woolly mammoth seeking homes um and we're we're gonna see if they'll be a good match together so uh i asked spencer what he should name what we should name this segment uh here are some of his suggestions okay uh ruinous ruminations <sighs> that was his first one yeah okay not his warming favorite up, either warming up. not his warming favorite up, either spencer. warming up um <laughs> <laughs> I suggested uh, Lonely House. That's pretty it's good. Like Lonely Hearts, but he came up with a with a banger. Bop. He a real. Oh no, uh, he didn't. <laughs> it's the same one. It's just ruminations. I think what? just. I, com- I think. I think it was. J- I think because I I thought ruminations was better. Getting that rid was of room, so ruinous. funny. No, he, yeah. Lonely ruminations. Maybe. Hearts of room. <laughs> what? <buzz. laughs> All right. Anyway, this is the one he sent me. Okay. <laughs> $450, one bedroom. Renter fell through, so seeking renter is the title. Okay. Uh, there are six pictures of this room, and it reads as such. Gay nudist couple seeks gay male nudist roommate to share in our home in the uptown area. The room is furnished with full-size bed, dresser, air conditioner and heater, and small refrigerator. The room also has its own outdoor access. Of course, renters would have access to the rest of the house. Conditions. And these are all in caps. Okay. Non-smoking. No drugs. Must. And then it goes back down to regular. Have a job. And rental references. Also, we're looking for a fellow gay nudist. <laughs> no pets, as we have small dogs already. Uh, so we got a deposit, uh, utilities. Uh, rent includes utilities and Wi-Fi. That's pretty good. We have a hot tub slash swim spa. What's a swim spa? A bigger hot tub. Okay. Uh, just outside renter's room. We would like to find someone who is relatable, consistent, okay with nudity, is gay and also uh, and okay with sharing a home with an older gay couple, 52 and 60. Uh, become part of our family. Okay. Very specific. It's. I wish them the best of luck. They are looking for more than to rent a room. Maybe. They Who for knows? sure are. I don't know. Why you- would you require gayness? They require it. And then the last thing is join our family. No, that's not regular. That is excessive. That is, hey, by the way, uh, we have a hot tub. (laughs) You're gay. We're gay. Uh, You know, like. True. You're right. I mean, I'm not wrong. the, The subtext. You're right. The subtext is there. It's like, hey, personal ads are down. But how fast do you think they're gonna find someone? Uh, I mean, 450. Four fifty for a bedroom. Pretty cheap. Uh, I mean, in if any town, older gay maybe. men and homeless. <laughs> <laughs> That's I a steal. I guess you'll take it. All right. So I think you know. I think they're looking for something really specific, and the subtext is there. So, okay. Um, okay. so we got that. That is the room to rent. Uh, who is the renter that we have today? Oh, Jimmy? I don't know. This is the reverse game where you, I don't know, and you know, <laughs> my lonely h- homie. <laughs> Is titled, I need to find my own spot temporarily, two exclamation points. The picture is um, a, a woman, a woman, a young woman making a duck face photo. Um, she's wearing a very large watch, um, which doesn't really go with her <laughs> top, I'm going to be that. honest. Uh, her second picture is her hanging out of her car with her uh, Rottweiler, I believe. Mm. Um while taking a selfie, but I think she should just be uh, driving instead. Is she driving? Can, is her hand no. on the, the steering wheel? It's not. Okay, she's, she's probably in the passenger, in the passenger side. side. Okay, side. thank God. But her, maybe that ad's not viable anymore if she her, was driving. But her dog is driving. Okay, the dog's um, driving. Good. She starts, hello, smiley face. I need my own private bedroom for minimum of two months. It could be longer if you are uh, concerned about some kind of verbal slash written contract with a different minimum length of stay, but I do need it for at least two months. I have a Doberman. What did I say? You said Rottweiler. Okay, I guess it's a Doberman. It's a Doberman. Um, I wouldn't doubt him being one of the best dogs you will ever have the privilege of getting to know. What? 
It's that's, gonna be the best dog. That's the sentence. You're gonna once love he this is dog. familiar with his new home, he will always protect us and of course share whatever love he has to give that you will tolerate. I love him. He's eight years old and his name is Zorro. Oh, and my name is Lena. Paulina. Moving on. <laughs> 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 a lot of personality in this oh, post. Oh, good, 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 good. Uh, Dash, I will not be paying a deposit nor last month's rent. I am only paying month to month. Listen, this is how it's going to go down. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what's going to go happen. Oh, my God. Uh, I am a single 27-year-old female, so rest assured I don't come with any toxic baggage. Is that all it takes? A man? Well, maybe. Um, so well, often, well, well. often. Uh, <laughs> men are trash. Uh, I do, however, have friends. I am who I hang out with. Never obnoxious. Always respectful, mindful, wonderful to be around. Mind our own business unless welcomed into others. He he. But typically, <laughs> I like my peace, comma alone. New dash. I play piano a lot. I only have my keyboard at the moment, which has volume control. Very considerate. Um, I have a Dude, job. Was that you or in the ad? Very considerate. I said that last oh, part. okay. <laughs> I have a job. I have my own car. If you are not ready for a quick chat on the phone to discuss a time and place to meet in person, then it's not for me. Keep me in mind. One love. Oh, I require my own room. Not shared. She said and that's that it. at the start. And that's it. Uh, there's a lot of... <laughs> it's a lot of necessities. Yeah. I think that uh, like two months, that's it. Two months, I'm not Two months, paying. that's it, but maybe more. <laughs> it's also like, and I'm not playing, I'm not paying extra rent, in, ex except, of course, why? Ugh. Well, it's it's funny, because both of our people have a lot of demands. <laughs> yeah, they're demanding. <laughs> uh, and and I, I have a hard time believing that this dog is going to... It's a big dog. It's a big dog. It's a big dog. Is going to love you in two months. <laughs> no. As a new person? I mean, maybe if you spend a lot of time with it, but that's maybe it's, it's but gonna... she, she spends so much time alone, Jimmy. But like, at least your people are in a position to be a little demanding. They own yeah. the place. This person has a car. That's true. And a dog. I and I think there's something to be said about like, I have friends and we're all great. <laughs> that means she's I have a feeling that means she's going to have friends over all the time and they're yeah. going to be real loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like, what are you talking about? Like, if you are if renting you have a to room, talk about it. if you if you're renting an apartment, I feel like that's for sure one thing. If you are renting a room for two months, that's way different. Don't have people over. Yeah, you don't need to be like. By the way, I have friends. They're gonna come over. They're gonna come over. We're gonna be drinking. We're gonna have bedroom parties. Besides the fact that this person is not a gay nudist man, <laughs> that would they, aside, would they find uh, housing love? That aside, I do not think that this is a good match. No. I think that she is very demanding. I don't think she's willing to become part of the family. The dog's going to get a hot tub, uh, fur in the hot tub. There's going to be fur in the hot tub. They already have a small dog. They do. The big dog might eat the small dog. Yeah. It's good with people. She didn't talk about how good it is with other dogs. That's true. And that's important. It's very important. It's more important. Also, they require first and last, and she doesn't want to pay first and last. It's an unreasonable thing. <laughs> it's bad. If you're staying for two months, pay for two months, and then renegotiate on month three. What? The other thing that's wild is that this couple's room is furnished. Yeah. Who moved what? out? Who moved out? Uh, renter fell through seeking renter that's also a weird way to say that our third <laughs> broke up with us our third who paid <laughs> rent and you have to pay rent too maybe it's it's like once we become a family then you won't have to pay rent anymore well th presumably they are also paying rent in maybe. their I mean they're paying a, a mortgage maybe Maybe they have it paid off. They, they, are, are, they are old. They are 52 and 60. They are old. They're older folks who may have enough money to have bought their own home. That's true. I wouldn't just... I, it's, it's one of those things, right? You want, you want people to... You, if, if, you want people to pay money so that you know they're good for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Jimmy, let's get a swim spa. 
A swim spa? A swim spa. They have a swim spa. How big? Did you Google it? No, let's Google it. Google let's it. do a spicy Google, Google right here. Google it on the spicy Google. Swim spa. Also known as Spoogle. <laughs> wow. I don't like that. It's too spicy for you? Oh, okay. Wow, these things are huge. But they're still hot tubs? Yeah. They look. They look like if you took a picture of a hot tub and put it on uh, Photoshop and then without, you stretched it. Yeah, without. <laughs> there, dude, where, where a regular hot tub is a hamburger, this is a hot dog. The, the, the ratio is, uh, well, it's off. Um, it's oh, a, they're long. They're long. Wow. That's just a pool. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like tiered. And it's got all the it's got all the the ripples in it that a that a hot tub do, <laughs> you know what I mean? That hot tub do be do be doing it. Where uh, they're like, these are places, these are various places for your body in this hot tub. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have a very old school hot tub here where it's just a park bench in a pool of bubbling water. That's our with the hot butt, tub. The butt part, though. Yeah, and the with butt the butt part, part, yeah, the butt part, of course. Um. Anyway. <laughs> So it, it turns out we didn't find housing, housing love. love, and that's roommate love. <laughs> roommate love, a roommate match. We roommate, we got to refine the language on this bad boy. Roommate match, roommate match. What'd you think of the uh, the the new segment? J- I Jimmy? like it. What do Let's you say do to Spencer? It. Spencer, come up with a better name for us, please. <laughs> Spencer, I I know you can do it, and that's like not me. Being, that's not me being facetious. I know that you are the one. You have to be the one, Spencer. <laughs> I like ruminations. It's Ru- very is, ruminations. Is a there little needs sweaty. to be another word? Does Rumi, there? Ruminations. Mm. <laughs> oh no. Roomy. All right, we're going on to Would You Rather Bot. Would You Rather Bot, of course, is our favorite segment. It's the best one. Um, and tonight we're going to end on it. Oh, really? We've yeah. gone that long? It's We're 45 minutes in. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, boy. I know. Well, we I spent gotta... half an hour on random. <laughs> I, got a... <laughs> <laughs> I got a steamy story for next week, then. Hell yeah. Um, so, uh, Would You Rather Bot is a GPT-2 neural network that we all know what that is, and we've, we've all very... Everybody. ...knows what that is, um, that asks Would You Rather questions on Twitter. You can find them at WYR underscore bot. Please follow them. It's a great account. Hell so, yeah. First up, Jimmy, Hello. do you have your guessing gears a whirring? They're greased. They are oiled. Do you have your your uh, percentage? Uh, my abacus? Yes. <laughs> approximators. I got my abacus Warmed out. up. I got it out. All it, the it is beads, also greased and oiled. Uh, count all the beads. Make sure none I'm, of the beads have fallen off. Myself am greased and oiled. Okay. Good. Just in case you were is curious. Is that this film? Is that on top of the hot tub film right now? Okay. Yes. First up. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a skin. It's like if we're boiling milk. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. That's from me. That's from my body. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no! I I peed in the tub last week. I guess you. And can... this is too gross. <laughs> this is gross. Uh, would you rather grow a third eye in the middle of your forehead, or two pairs of extra arms right by the originals? Ah, uh, <laughs> third eye. So this is tough. Middle this is of tough. forehead. I okay, so two, two extra an arms. extra set of arms is way more useful. Yeah, and so therefore I think that's gonna win, and I think that's what I'm gonna choose, even though it makes my life also way more difficult in a lot of different ways. Got with a third eye, custom make those shirts. It's not useful, or I just get a big. I just wear only tank tops. Probably is what I would do because yeah. I'm lazy. I'm a lazy boy. Yeah, um, like the recliners and. Um, and um is that what it is that's what i'd like i was wondering why you had a foot rest you pull my lever down and then my arms go whoop <laughs> <laughs> all four of them jimmy uh, have you ever uh like used your foot rest as a catapult because that would be fun yeah and then i go whoop <laughs> <laughs> gotta make that sound every time goodbye world <laughs> whoop um yeah, the third eye could wear a bandana, and then for a dramatic reveal, I could unveil it yeah. and be like, 
I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, I've been evil the whole time. I have powers. But with arms, I, I don't know. I can hold twice as many things. <laughs> also, uh, y- it really simplifies your Halloween costume. Yeah, I just pl- I didn't, I'm just, just Goro. 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 Every single year, you're yeah. just Goro, Goro, Goro. Or Goro. the girl one whose name I don't remember. Gora. It's really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan would know. Jordan, Texas. Jordan! Texas, what it is. Jo- should I call him? No. Should I call him right no, now? No, he's busy. I don't know if he is. He is. Oh. <laughs> I know him. He's busy. <laughs> Making bags. All right. Um. Yeah, two pairs of arms for both of us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think what's the old spread? Tell tough. us. I think it's going to be 70 arms. Interesting. 75 arms. Hey! hey as long as I to. get within 10%, I'm happy. <laughs> That's my goal for me that I've made for myself. Would you rather be able to tell when someone is lying, period, or be able to take back your words? Mm, uh, this is a fun one. I'm, I'd rather know when people are lying. Yeah? I feel like that's way more useful. I can just be careful with my words. Yeah. Um, I can do my best, you know, and if I if I make a mistake, uh, I just apologize. Yeah. But if I know if somebody's lying, ooh-wee, the possibilities. You'd become a lawyer. I'd become a lord. <laughs> you can do the that. The lying lord. You can, you can already do that. You can buy five square feet of land in Scotland and become a lord. I want to do that. Yeah. How much is that? It's probably not too much Lincoln on Facebook. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That did happen. He became a lord. That is true. I own a square piece of... Something Scotland from from, from Scotland. Car- Cards Against Humanity. Oh, you do? Yeah, I don't know if I still do, but I did. <laughs> I'm sure you still do. You're a landowner. Hell yeah. Um, I think I want to suck back the words into my mouth. Really? I think that'd be um useful for me, uh, for various voice acting things. Uh huh. Get it right on the right take the first time. And then because... if you're hungry, you can just eat the word food. And well, that's full. what I'm saying. It's like, what's the process of taking back those words? I'm imagining it's like, yeah. Slurp. And it probably tastes pretty good if I'm saying good words. Like anything that isn't ricotta. <laughs> but I like ricotta. You're going to just have a whole mouthful of ricotta. Yeah, huh? ricotta, ricotta, ricotta. Slurp, 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 slurp. And then... And Yuck. then lasagna's like, oh, uh, I need that. Uh, um, <laughs> if you say the word lasagna, do you get a lasagna or do you have to say every ingredient individually? I think that you say the word lasagna and the word lasagna comes out, but it tastes like lasagna. So it's not actually lasagna. That's the best way because then you don't, uh, there's no, that's no calories. Zero carbs. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Jimmy, when was the last time you had any lasagna? It's a long time ago. Long time, even even pre keto, long time pre keto. Pre keto. Um, I think I think this one is gonna be seventy five percent to to tech lies. Oh, interesting. You're very wrong. No, it's fifty three percent to tech lies. Wow. It's right down the middle. Okay. Isn't that wild? I wasn't expecting. I that. was not either. Uh, would you rather be the first person to communicate with a dead civilization or be the last person to communicate with a dead civilization? <laughs> uh, the first. Because right? that means that we're not all about to die. Yeah. Also, you have the spell, speak to dead. That's for sure. Yep. And magic's real. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to guess 80% on this one. For, for speak, speak, the first one, the first one. 78 yes. percent for the first one to speak to a dead civilization that's amazing i'm so good would I'm you rather i'm so good <laughs> uh very celebratory would you rather burp seriously or grow a fake mustache how do you grow a fake mustache i don't think that's a fallacy would you rather buy it? come on baby so you grow a mustache but then the the skin just kind of peels up enough for you to like take it off. It's or like you... it's like it's like a, a phantom limb. <laughs> there you yeah, go. that's a that's a deep pull. It's like phantom you limb. You have an electric. <laughs> well, remember mustache. he pulled he pulled it off and he was like, but he pulled oh, yeah. off his fake. He pulled off his skin to reveal the mustache underneath. <laughs> that's right. is what it was. Um, all or you know, plastics coming out of your face. So you got that going. Yeah, what was sorry? What was the first one again? Oh, uh, the, would you rather burp seriously? Yeah. Burp. I feel like 
gravely with a period. What was the second one again? <laughs> Grow a fake mustache. I think, she- I think, because <laughs> I had it in my head and then I f- kept forgetting the other part. Burp seriously. Or grow a fake mustache. I think it's going to be like 80% mustache. You think so? Because I think women are going to want a shot at it. Who needs to burp seriously anyway? Burps are supposed to be fun. People can burp frivolous. all the time. It's it's without a care in the world. Some people are going to not want to do the mustache, but some people are going to want to make that fake nose glasses mustache. Do the mustache. 80%. For mustache. Yeah. So wrong. Oh my gosh. 60% want to burp oh. seriously. What the, 60 really? 60 people, 60 old people, wow. at least. Wow. Only 40% want to, and the fact that it's such a clean number, too, 40, 60, we don't get that a lot. Very off. Yeah. Would you rather be a zombie bunny or be a loser? Zombie bunny. Yeah. <laughs> you 85%. Be, what would the banicula version of a zombie be? Uh, you can only eat pink things. I can look only like brains. Yeah, I, I I can only eat um, tofu brains. You can you can eat like um, prunes because they're wrinkly like a brain is. Yeah, or uh, a, like a raspberry because you're kind of wrinkly. They're kind of bumpy. Yeah, I'd say that's more bumpy than wrinkly, Jimmy. But what about oh, you know what? A dried apricot. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Defo Anything dried. Apricot. Like dried out things, probably. I miss dried strawberries. Those were good. Yeah, they, they... Extremely sweet. Too sweet. I would get sick eating them. Yeah, because you just keep wanting them. They're so good. Have you ever had a freeze-dried grape? No. It's pretty much just like eating sugar. That sounds sharp. No, they're good. Okay, I believe you. It's like eating freeze-dried strawberries. I haven't... Oh, oh, you mean, oh, I thought, I don't know why I thought you meant, like, <laughs> I don't know. Where'd your brain go, Jimmy? I thought you just meant a very cold grape from, no. like, dry ice. No. I don't know why I thought that. I know what freeze-dried things are. Yeah. I forgot, though. I've never had, I've, I still have never had one. Okay. But a freeze-dried, uh, from, like, a cereal box of a, of a strawberry? Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Yo, 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 that's yo, the, yo. That's the business. The bomb diggity dot Calm diggity. One more? Uh, a few. Well, you 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 tell me uh, what you think this spread is. Zombie bunny or a loser? Uh, 80, 85, 85. 85 for bunny? Yeah. You're very wrong. Jimmy, you're, Why do you're people want to be falling a loser? down. No, it's not that. It's that it's 52% want to be a zombie bunny. Well, it's right down the middle. But that's wrong. So they're wrong is the problem. <laughs> the thing about it is that they're wrong. Why do 48 people want to be a loser? Yeah, I don't know. That I maybe they is just wrong. don't want to be uh zombies. But you're a cool zombie by Somebody, definition. So uh the account Flavor Toothpaste responded Soy un per perdedor. Perdedor. Soy un per- I don't know what a perdedor is, but <laughs> this person is one. Anyway. Thank, uh, thank you. <laughs> I thought that your amount of Spanish would get us there. <laughs> Close. Uh, would you rather tuna or lemons, Jimmy? Would you rather tuna or lemons? That's tough, actually. I want a lemons. I like tuna, but I also like lemons. Jimmy, lemons are more versatile. To, you used to live off of tuna mac. I know. That was your jam. I love it. I know you do. I love fish. <laughs> I had fish tonight. I had a fish salad. I from feel a fancy like place. fish tonight. Like, like fish tonight. tonight. It's fish, all right, baby, baby. One more. I'm going to lemon. Uh, what What do you think the spread is? Fifty one. Man, fish. You You are. I'm giving. All I'm over giving up because I've lost a little you, bit. Yeah, you're feeling defeated. A winds out bit. of your sails. Because a I'm lemon sorry, and a fish, buddy. they're so easy. I'm sorry. They're buddy. the same ones. You'll get it next time. But You'll not this time. The What's the, what this, is it this time? This time you're very wrong. What it's is it? Sixty eight percent lemons. What did I say? Fish. Yeah, you said fish. Damn. And I think you said like seventy percent. No, I said fifty-one. Fifty-one. Okay. Yeah. You remember was, that? Yeah. Okay. Because I was, I thought it was going to be down the middle. Jimmy, you got a weird brain. Would you what? rather <laughs> banana peels or chunky peanut butter? Chunky peanut butter. Chunky Shit. peanut butter is a thing you can eat. Yeah, banana, banana peels, peels are hilarious and good for racing. Good for go karts, but not. For Eaton's. Maybe one more. <laughs> that was a little, a little silly. What do you think the, the spread is? 
I know you're defeated, but I think you can pull it out. 75% peanut butter. Close. 70... 84% peanut butter. I was butter. within 10%. Mm, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah you 9%. Were. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jimmy, the last and final Would You Rather from the Would You Rather bot okay. of the night. If you get this, you win the $10,000. <gasps> You win the Lamborghini. I like those. You win the Garfield phone. I want that the most. And you the win. The thing about it is that it's his tail that is the receiver, the hanging receiver part. And you win an all expensed paid vacation to a five foot patch of land in Scotland. <gasps> Hooray. You ready? Yeah. Here is the would you rather. Okay. Would you rather banana bread everywhere <laughs> or. Eat a bowl of ice cream that tastes like mud. <laughs> one more time. One bread, more time. Wait, everywhere. wait, wait. Before you, oh. before you fully answer, one more time. I... So you know them because you've been having a hard time keeping track. No, I just forgot the one. Uh-huh. Would I you... got confused because they were confusing. <laughs> would, you, would you rather banana bread everywhere <laughs> or eat a bowl of ice cream that tastes like mud. I like banana bread. Banana you bread's really like good. banana bread. Yeah, we bread. do. If we didn't eat banana bread, we'd be dead. So you're doing banana bread. I want to live. Final Dane. answer? I want to live, Dane. <laughs> yeah, banana bread. I'm going to do banana bread everywhere also um, because I think it'd be funny to just like be walking down the street and there's a piece of banana bread on the it wall. It rains from the skies. And it comes down. If all the raindrops guess, were banana bread and banana bread. I'm also going to guess 85%. And again, I'm, I'm banking on these 15% of people to be like, I want to eat that mud, though. I want to eat that mud. Well, I do thing. love ice cream. And if it tastes like mud, it doesn't mean there is mud. It's yeah, but just mud doesn't dirt. taste good. Right. That's true. Well, you don't know. You've never tried it. I. You don't know. I don't know. You don't know. You don't know either. I do know. You've eaten mud? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> 85 is your guess. Yeah. The answer, James. 85. 89%. Hey. You did it. You and then win. You were like, the, and then you're like 89%. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's banana bread. Yeah, All right, yeah, everybody. Yeah, thank yeah, you yeah, for yeah, joining yeah, us yeah, for yeah, another yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Here in the hot tub. Um, uh, if you have any would you rathers for us or suggestions of anything of any sort, uh, if you find any weird uh, housing ads on Craigslist, send them on over to the PJCcast at gmail.com or tweet them using hashtag the PJCcast. We release every Tuesday. Yeah. Thank you to Brad T. Jonas yeah. for our cover art and thank you to Jordan for our theme song. They're on Instagram at Brad T. Jonas and underscore contaminants, respectively. Respectively. Respectfully. Res- look at them respectfully. <laughs> look at them with respect. Yeah. Hand over your heart. Like that's the, the thing. That's like the new pledge. thing. What's the new thing? People, like women, women and women presenting people will be like, here's these, here's these sweet baps, baby. Look respectfully. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard that one. <laughs> it's like, you can look, but don't be awful. Yeah. Is the new, the okay. new thing. All right. Hey. But it's, some people say it as a joke is why I know. Like, right. Because they'll, they'll, it'll be just a picture of like whatever and they'll be like, look respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> look at this bowl of ice cream mud. Look respectfully. respectfully. Is it mud or is it not mud? You don't know until you taste it, baby. Um, for another week, my name's Dane. I'm Jimmy. And have a good night and get home safe. I love calling people in the middle of our podcast, you see. Call Spencer now. Okay. (laughs) Why, hello, brother. (laughs) Hey, Spencer. We just finished the podcast. Hi, Spencer. Hi, Jimmy. (laughs) The the segment went really well. Oh, good. Um, We might have said some things about your name choices that uh were less than flattering should we let them know we're still recording we are still recording (laughs) for for, for clarity's sake is a great pun and i will die on that hill no i think ruminations is great ruinous ruminations was a little sweaty oh no no i just wanted the one pun in there and then there was an alliteration i got carried away i'm sorry
Do you want us to lock in on ruminations? No, no. You're an official rooms. producer now. You're a producer of this podcast. I'm a producer? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Oh, you have a credit. Responsibility. <laughs> um, no, no. Okay. We're going to stay on brand here. Come on. Branding <laughs> is really what makes this show, right? Branding is key to the PJC Br- cast. Yeah. <gasps> That's the, says the pun. Lonely Homes is it's in theme. Lonely Homes. Um, you know, we, we we're half printed already. Um, <laughs> so I think we have to stick with that at this point. Yeah. Okay. Lonely Homes is pretty good. I came up with Lonely Homes for the record. I want credit. C- credit received. And then when this segment ends, whenever we end it and we go to graveyards, it's Lonely Bones. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Spencer, thank you for answering the phone call. And, uh, well, have a good night and get home safe. Yeah, um, it's just this balmy holiday evening. So. Spencer, every, we, 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 we release every Tuesday. We release every Tuesday. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Before you go. Okay, 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 okay. Just real quick. I know I said the thing. If I called you up for the end credits, would you be able to recite them all verbatim? <sighs> like, no. <laughs> no. Hey, here, here's this. No, but I could do the cadence. Okay, give us a give us a taste of the cadence, and then we'll let you okay, go. Okay. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You do know what my my sign off is, though, right? Um. Yes. Oh my God! You don't. <laughs> How are you a scientist? You need to know things. I'm a, I'm a scientist, not a sinophagist. <laughs> All right, that's it. All right, thank you, Spencer. I love you. Bye. Love you too. Have a good podcast. Yeah, we're we're done. Okay, bye. (laughs) I'm stopping recording.